Ruby Frank faces six felony counts of child abuse. She was arrested in Utah last week after her 12 year old son climbed out of a window and ran to a neighbor's home asking for food and water. The neighbor saw duct tape around his ankles and called police. The family's four children considered minors were taken to the hospital to be treated for malnourishment. And she often talked about her children being hungry in her YouTube videos. And my kids are literally starving. I hesitate to say this because it's going to sound like I'm like a mean barbarian, but I told the kids, I said, I'm not even going to let you eat breakfast until you get your chores done. Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning, and she actually told me she did pack a lunch. So the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry. And hopefully, hopefully nobody gives her food and nobody steps in and gives her a lunch because then she's not going to learn from the natural outcome. Joining us now, criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Peter Frankel. This case is so disturbing. You know, her YouTube channel was taken down earlier this year, as you know. She faced growing criticism over how she treated her children. Ultimately, Peter, it was her brave son escaping, asking for help um, that called attention to all of this. What's your reaction to the apparent red flags that were missed here? Thank you for having me, Kelly. I appreciate it. So, look, I should start out by saying that these sorts of investigations where the government investigates families and how children are being treated can be very tricky and the government doesn't really always handle them very well. That being said, what took so long? I mean, it's that's really what screams out here. How could this possibly take so long? Neighbors complained for years. Her eldest daughter disassociated herself from the family. The husband left the house. Her own videos that she posted were disturbing in and of themselves. So you, you have to ask, for years with this going on, did it really take one of her children to escape and, and demonstrate that he was malnourished and had uh, been duct taped and had open wounds in order for the government to get involved and make an arrest? Yeah, such a horrifying situation. So an attorney for Frank's husband talked to News Nation's Chris Cuomo. Uh, here's the clip. Mom had the kids for the summer and uh, uh, went out of the county with the kids. And and if he had known of or thought there was abuse going on, he would have been all over it. Is his position that these allegations are unfair and is he going to defend the mother? If the or does he want the kids and to keep them away from the mother? If the allegations are true, my client has never supported, condoned, or even acted in a physical way toward these kids. So what is the likelihood abuse may have been going on without the husband knowing? Look, it, it, anything's possible, Kelly, but just because you leave the home doesn't mean that you abandon your responsibility to your children. Neighbors were interviewed. They were told that the mother would leave the home for days, if not weeks at a time, leaving the kids alone. Where was the father when all this was going on? I mean, you don't have to be in a healthy relationship with your spouse to care properly and appropriately for your children. So I, I do think that he has some questions that need to be answered with respect to where he was in all of this. Certainly and a lot of sadness all around. We certainly don't want to speculate, but I hear your point. Uh, before you go, I'd love to ask you about the new developments in the BTK serial killer case. Investigators may have identified a woman who Dennis Rader sketched. She was bound and gagged. Are you surprised that this many years later, they could be finding more victims here? Uh, I, I am and I'm not, and I'm actually hopeful that um... There, there is reason to be hopeful that they, they could um, discover who some of these victims are. You know, Bader, before he was arrested in 2005, liked to give clues to law enforcement. There's reason to believe that he may have been doing that again from jail recently. There's some newly discovered evidence that law enforcement was able, able to uncover that was buried a couple of feet in a location where he had lived. And what's really important, and I think what could be a key here is that his own daughter, who he had been estranged from for almost 20 years, has recently visited him a couple of times and possibly is getting through to him to have him help investigators and give, giving some closure.
to some of these families. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.